Hello and welcome to another edition of Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino, uh, which is myself, James Scarcebrook. Uh, and um, I hope you uh, had an opportunity to see the last episode where I opened up a bottle of Ben Haynes wines. As I mentioned on that video, uh, I went away to Dunkeld, which is in Western Victoria, uh, and uh, had a, a lovely gourmet evening at the Royal Mail. Uh, quite a, a lengthy <laughs> digger station, but uh, very, very compelling food uh, and some wines as well. And on the way back, my partner Victoria and I had uh, stopped in Ballarat, where um, there is the wonderful uh, wine bar, cellar door, restaurant kind of setup of Mitchell Harris. Uh, and I was particularly going to visit my uh, former colleague uh, and friend, John Harris. We used to work together at uh, Domaine Chandon. And, um, and it was great to catch up with John. Hopefully I'll have him on my podcast, The Vincast, very soon. But I, uh, I grabbed a bottle to take away with me, something that uh, uh, I was really, really compelled to have a look at because I know there are people out there who are very, very into the grape Mataro, uh, sometimes known as Muvedra uh, in Spain, sometimes it's known as Monastrel, has a lot of different names. Uh, and people are quite interested in single, uh, single variety or varietal uh, examples of Mataro. So when I saw that, uh, I was very, very interested in trying it. So I grabbed the bottle and I thought I'd uh, share my impressions uh, with you guys. So uh, I guess without further ado, this is the Mitchell Harris Mataro 2013 from Pyrenees Fruit. Nice color, uh, it's not super intense uh, and it's not sort of super dark, it's, uh, it's really uh, nice and sort of in the middle. Darker red fruits here, some earthiness, it's got a, yeah, kind of got a red earth character, some um, sort of curry um, maybe Middle Eastern or Indian spices. Yeah, just some some sort of braised meat notes as well. Maybe even some leather. Very interesting. Nice sort of savoury edge to it as well. Let's taste. Good tannins in here, um, nice tightness. Uh, it's lighter than I expected. I expected it to be a little bit fuller, uh, you know, and really fill the palate a bit heavier as well. Um, but this is actually quite a, a, a live expression of Mataro. Um, uh, it, it's well balanced, you know, it's, it carries through on the palate nicely. Uh, it's nice, clean fruit expression. Um, there's a little bit of grip in the tannins, but uh, it has quite good acidity there actually. So um, really, really interesting example. I, I very much enjoy this uh, depending on, uh, I'm not sure what the recommended retail price is. John, if you could remind me, that would be fantastic. Um, but look, if you're interested to try, to try a variety that you don't really see as often on its own, uh, Mataru uh, Mavedra, uh, it is a very, very, uh, commonly blended grape, particularly with Grenache and Shiraz. Uh, if you want to look at uh, Mataro on its own, I highly recommend getting a bottle of the Mitchell Harris because uh, uh, it, it, it sort of you get to see the uh, what the Mataro and or Mavedra brings to that blend in particular. Uh, I, I think it's a really really nice balance between freshness, fruit, and uh, you know some savoury edge as well. So um, excellent, excellent wine. Uh, thank you very much, uh, John, for welcoming us. Hope to have you on the podcast very, very soon. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, please, and leave me a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the Intrepid Wino YouTube channel so you can uh, see the, the newest video as soon as it becomes available. Uh, and, of course, come and visit me at intrepidwino.com. Subscribe to the podcast. Have a look at some of the writings I've done in the past. But until next time, cheers. cheers.